Once upon a time, there was a Carbon Kids Science Communications Challenge. The challenge was to demonstrate an understanding of carbon capture and storage. At St. Michael's Catholic Primary School in Brunswick Junction, Western Australia, a group of Year 6 and 7 students took up the Carbon Kids Challenge. That's, That's us. They chose to write about the carbon cycle and to create beautiful illustrations which can be enjoyed by children around the world. This is their story, A Day in the Life of a Carbon Atom, starring Adam. There once was a little carbon atom who lived peacefully under the ground. It was dark and peaceful, and although the little carbon atom was occasionally lonely, he lived a happy life. One day, the little carbon atom was minding his own business when he felt the ground shudder. All of a sudden, his life was turned upside down. He was collected by large machines that cut the ground. He was then piled into a large truck with lots of other frightened little carbon atoms. They travelled for what seemed, for what felt like forever. The journey was long and boring. The little carbon atom finally arrived at the large power plant. There, the little carbon atom was burnt in a great big furnace. But in the furnace, something marvellous happened. The little carbon atom lost his earthly body. He was floating into the sky. He was getting higher and higher. He was free and everything was great. Then something extraordinary happened. The little carbon atom met up with his best friends, O1 and O2. The little carbon atom was so happy. He hadn't seen his best friends for 360 million years. The three atoms were so happy to see each other, they formed a strong bond, and from the day on, they were known as CO2. Unions were happening all over the place. Lots of little carbon atoms were meeting up with oxygen atoms. Life was good. It was like one big party, but then something happened. The party was getting too big, the dance floor was getting too crowded, the music was getting too loud, and the dance move was getting too far. But the CO2 atoms kept coming. The little carbon atom was not happy anymore. Meanwhile, some clever people noticed the out of control party was happening above their heads and decided to hatch a plan. They wanted to save other carbon atoms from the same fate as the little carbon atom. About the same time, there was another little carbon atom called Adam, who used to be crammed in the ground with lots of other carbon atoms. But now he had been disturbed from his aimless life by a machine that decided to scoop him out of the ground and dump him into the back of a truck with complete strangers. Adam was extremely frightened, as were most of the atoms in the truck, marked oxyfuel. After a long trip, all of the little atoms were dumped into a tank covered with hot oxygen. The hot oxygen atoms were pulling and grabbing at Adam. He felt as if everyone wanted a piece of him. After a while, the feeling stopped. He looked to his left and right and realised he was attached to two hot oxygen atoms. He was no longer unhappy. They floated around with the steam, wondering what would happen next. Adam thought he would finally be able to rest after his extremely long day. But unfortunately, his day was far from over. All of a sudden, he and his two oxygen friends felt like they were being pulled into a vacuum cleaner. However, when Adam looked around, he saw he and his friends were in a huge pipe, surrounded by other carbon and oxygen atoms. He was going to wave at the others, but he felt too scared. Adam was being forced down for what seemed like an eternity. It suddenly occurred to him that he was extremely cold and he had to put on his new beanie and scarf. A long time later, the temperature soared so high, he hastily put on his shades, sunscreen and singlet. At times along the pipe, Adam was completely squished between other atoms, and other times he had loads of space to himself. All the while, he was wondering when his journey would end. Adam was still travelling through the pipe when he heard another carbon atom say, I think we're going to an empty gas field. Adam wondered why they were going there. Then he remembered something his father told him long before he went to explore the atmosphere. For as long as he could remember, Adam's dad had said, We are one of the most important parts of the earth. Everything that has lived or is living is made up of us. To have such an important role involves having a long rest. For 360 million years, we need to rest underground to form coal. After a very long day, Adam knew his journey was coming to an end. He was about to go back underground. Suddenly, he had a feeling. The feeling of a hero. Because he knew that after his very long rest, he would become something that would help the humans and he would be able to complete his journey again. 
The end. No atoms were hurt during the making of this book.